Happy Easter, Curious George, written by R.P. Anderson, illustrated in the style of H.A. Ray by Mary O'Keefe Young. This is George. He was a good little monkey and always very curious. He lived with his friend, the man with the yellow hat. Today, George and the man were going to the park as a special treat. George was curious the moment they got to the park. It was Easter and the park was full of people. There were so many bright colors and so many things for a little monkey to do. Children were flying kites high in the sky and decorating Easter baskets. They were even having races rolling eggs. Then George saw a small corral with a sign on it. What could be inside? A soft white bunny. He patted the bunny and fed it a carrot. But what was this? People were dyeing Easter eggs yellow and blue and pink. George was curious. He had never dyed an egg before. George dyed an egg yellow. Then he had an idea. With yellow and blue, he made green. With yellow and red, he made orange. And with red and blue, he made purple. dyed eggs as only a monkey can, four at a time. Then he painted the eggs with swirls, with polka dots, and with stars. They looked like brightly colored balls. George could not resist. He even juggled them. Oh, no, shouted a woman. The Easter Bunny is gone. But George didn't notice because just then he saw a man losing one egg. Then another egg. Then even more eggs. In an instant, George grabbed a basket and began to help the man find them. George found eggs here, and he found eggs there. He had almost collected them all when a boy said, Hey, that monkey's taking the Easter eggs. Stop, thief! George was so busy that he did not even hear him. Then he saw another egg. A white egg under some bushes, perfect for dying. It wasn't an egg at all. It was a bunny's tail. How surprised George was. He patted the bunny and placed it in his basket on top of the eggs. Hey, that monkey found the Easter Bunny, said a girl. Hurrah, cried a boy. Everyone congratulated George. Now that the Easter Bunny is safe and sound, George, said the man with the yellow hat, can you hide all of the eggs you gathered so the children can find them? For this job, he 
was lucky to be a monkey. George hid the eggs in all the places a curious monkey would. It was the best egg hunt ever. After the hunt, George and the man with the yellow hat waved goodbye to their new friends. As George and his friend drove away, the children waved back, calling out, Happy Easter, George! The end. I hope you've enjoyed this story. Happy Easter, Curious George! Curious George does get into trouble, but it sure was nice of him to help hide all those Easter eggs for the children. Now leave in the comment below, what do you like to find when you hunt for Easter eggs? And make sure you give Grandma a big thumbs up so Grandma knows you liked Curious George's story. Make sure you come back for more stories. Bye, Grandma.